Alright guys, welcome back to some XCOM, and here we have alien abductions. Moderate alien activity, which is means we're going to bring along three sort of veterans and three rookies with us. So here we have Alpha Tag, the mic, and DVR. As well as we have um, Spec Railgun. Actually, I feel like he should actually get uh, some sort of other helmet. What's a railgun kind of hat? I don't know. What reminds me of railguns? I don't know. He needs, a, he needs something cool. We already had the glasses on someone. Fuck that. That's not a railgun hat. This one is good. You know, it reminds me of the soldier from TF2 kind of a thing. That's a good, that's a good helmet, actually. Uh, so we have uh, Spec Railgun, with our, who's our rocketeer for this evening. Uh, using uh, the laser sight and the rockets. You can see I have a real thing for the laser sights. Uh, mostly because the infantry stacks twice. The laser sight helps bonus with the rockets shooting. And the, our sniper here... Uh, Mongo Bongo also like helps everything that helps the aim is good with the sniper too. Also, I get I gave him a backwards baseball cap and uh, and some headphones and stuff. Take it from me, I play a lot of sniper. I always do better when I wear back backwards uh, baseball caps. So that's why I did that, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so we have our grenaders, three rookies, and let's go. Back in Argentina once again. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Operation Defiant Sword. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Hello, Sky Ranger. Hello, soldiers. All right, what do we have? Oh, I started from this position this before. Strike team is reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Got it. Uh, that would be the wrong guy. I didn't want to move him there, but whatever. Let's try and get our sniper into that position. So, uh, we haven't yet played with the snipers. Uh, you haven't seen how the snipers work in this. Um, so whenever you move them, obviously I can't shoot her anymore. She won't, she won't shoot anymore, but... I can either hunker her down or steady her weapon for the next turn. That's what you do instead of overwatching with snipers. Um, the real problem with the sniper overwatch, though, is that it'll only do overwatch for whenever they enter the sniper's range, uh, which is never. And I hear some some dumb stuff. Got it. All right. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go. Designated coordinates. I'm on the move. Alright. It's mostly the rookies that need to be in the front right now. Oh, well, we definitely know they're over there. Did you hear something? The rocketeer needs to be ready to just, uh, fire that rocket. Because if I, I... By the way, the rule is, if I see a fucking hunk of, uh... What are those things called? Uh, the drones. I hate the drones so much. I miss every shot every time. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's just sectoids. So how do we deal with sectoids? Well, first of all, let's see if our sniper has a shot. Yes, we do. 65 or 50? We're gonna take that 65% shot. See? Back backwards baseball cap works every time. 90% of the time. Alright, now, uh, we're in some ha shitty half cover here, so... What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna move away... ...to over here. Okay. Same okay. thing with this guy. Now, I don't like this person's position here, so let's move up there. Now, that person has Opportunist, I think, now. Uh, which is which is a good thing to have. I'm debating if I should really be over here. Now, we're gonna just move over here for a sec. Uh, I don't like your position, though. Okay, actually, you'll be the rocket. The Rocketeer will be over there, then. We're behind some full cover here. I hear drones, though. So my, uh, my, yeah, there we go. Here we have covering fire. So because we're an overwatch, uh, soldier, we get to shoot whenever, whenever they take a shot at us, which is really nice. So basically, you always want to overwatch after every turn, basically. All right. 
Let's see. We can move up there. All right, 35, 20. What's the sniper got? 30%. Uh, I think we're gonna steady for the next turn. I think we're all gonna steady, actually. Except for you, who will now move over here to Overwatch. And this guy can go back. Can this guy get a sh No, he can't. Well, whatever. He can Overwatch. Okay, we're gonna start studying our aim. Oh, actually, no, he shouldn't have studied his weapon. He should have been overwatching. Well, can't undo that. Uh, I saw some drones down there. The drones decided just to not do anything. So this jerk decided to move ahead and cover his buddy there. Okay, they're both overwatching. All right, sniper gets the first shot. Sniper doesn't have a shot, unfortunately, anymore. Um, so, we can either decide to take our chances with these kinds of odds, which I wouldn't mind. Oh, that's that's nice. And then we have a grenade as a backup, I, I figure. Okay, looks like, you know, fucking rookies want blood. Blood they shall receive today. Well, that worked out really well. We, we stayed behind the half cover and they kind of uh, uh, were retarded sectoids, so it worked really well in our favor. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's start to reload some weapons. Uh, don't think I'll need to reload that sniper rifle. So we saw some drones there. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. It's, uh,. I'm debating just kind of letting them walk into it. I mean, we don't really need that melt that bad. So, let's let's see if the drones kind of walk into us. That's our hope right now. We'll give it like another turn. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yeah, I think we're just going to try and run into them now. Oddly enough, they're no longer there. That's some really shoddy cover. Here's what I'm hoping to do. I'm gonna activate them, then run the fuck away. There they are. Wait, nope, still not triggering. There's also another group over there. That's, that doesn't exactly help things. Here's the thing, if I move him up... He will, uh, he's unlikely to be able to move all the way back. I, I would rather not sacrifice uh, rookies to the rookie god. You know what? Maybe we should just chuck a fucking grenade down there. <laughs> Honestly, guys. Alright. No, but then, then I can't move him. That's the problem. So I gotta, I got. There's no full cover down here. So basically, when I trigger him, it's it's fucking do or die. So let's go down here and die. All right, here we go. I think our rocketeer is gonna have a shot there. This is the exact kind of situation we have the rockets for. Okay, try not to hit uh, our good uh, friend there. It would be really nice if you did that. Now, the rockets have a bit of tile deviation, as you saw. That was a, that was a good rocket there, actually. Uh, that that's that never happens, by the way. Um, so there is a bit of deviation in the, in the amount of tiles. The rockets are not 100% accurate. So, something to keep in mind. All right, here we go. Another drone down. Uh, unfortunately, this guy cannot get a shot. Uh, I would rather not get flanked. Oh, here we go. That's a good shot. Ah, oh, rookie's got it. Alright, we're gonna move back all the way over there. I think we got them all, so I think we can actually move up now. Oh, no, no. Never mind. There's one still there. And here we have a, a, a reaction shot from our nice infantry here. I'm level. I'm trying to level him, guys. He's gonna. He's gonna become a real powerhouse soon. Trust me. 
All right. This actually gives us uh, some opportunity to level some rookies, believe it or not. Uh, except he can't shoot that guy. All right. Thought I could. Well, let's see. I don't think that this guy's going to kill him in one hit, so let's just take the first shot. There you go. Okay, that's what I thought. And what we do always with this guy is overwatch on the second turn. All right. Rookies. Uh... I'm hoping by moving back here, I can give him an opportunity to run back. Uh, no, he's gonna have to sprint back somewhere. Or maybe not, if, if we get this shut off. What's your aim? Uh, it's a question of, do I really want to risk it? I don't want to risk it. He's gonna, he's gonna run back. Yeah, he's gonna run back. Actually, unless this person can get the shot off. No. Alright. Get your ass behind some full cover here, so soldier. I'm a little bit worried about the one I moved kind of on the side there, but we'll see how that works out. Okay, so now he decided to go that way. And is being very weird. He, he kind of just wasted both his turns being a tard. Ah, go the mic. Yeah. Out of the game. It was your name that did it. Let's be honest. Ready to rock. Rack rock. Everyone's just gonna re have it turn reloading basically. So that went that went not so bad. Uh, so. I think now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to same strategy as before, just move the hell up. Estoy en I think I think I think we're about ready to bring the soldiers completely forward though. Heading to that location. Heading out. Where's our sniper? Okay, our valiant sniper will move to Le this position. Come get some. I've got my oh, the rocketeer probably could have moved up. And we know there's sectoids somewhere there's on the map. Out there. Yeah, we know. Sectoids like to be sectoids. Aye, aye, commander. Yeah, we can't. We do get a good sight line there, but we don't want to uh, try our luck too hard there. there. Uh, we would have to dash Moving there. Out. That's fine. And our sniper will go That's over here. Head behind this half cover, but sniper is always in the, well, no, that's not there, that's not the sniper, actually. My bad. This is the sniper. Yeah, Alright. We're gonna steady our aim there. So we always kind of keep our sniper in the back there just to steady our aim and uh, get ready for, for business. Alright, and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna see what we see. And there's absolutely nothing. Which is not good for us. Rolling. Because that means they're on this high ground here. Heading out. And when they're on the high ground, it means trouble. It means that we have to basically get yes, someone to suicide over there. This is why we kind of want to have battle scanners. Um, you probably would get an idea of what map it is and maybe bring it along on somebody. Um, What's making in certain that noise? cases, but you know, in my case, I, I didn't. Because you can kind of tell what map it's going to be through certain uh, attributes. Like, it, it tells you kind of what map Got you're going it. to next, actually. On the uh, ready screen, so you Got can... Time. Okay, here we go. We have sectoids. Alright, our sniper did steady her aim. It's worth her to take a 50% shot here. Alright. The plan here is to move us back in such a way that they have to come down to us. That's the plan here. So, because of the fact, there's no point in us taking this low ground here. Now, do, do we actually see him anymore? No, we don't. Okay, which is good. So, the plan is now to bring everyone over to cover and spread, it, spread ourselves out. And hopefully they start coming down those ramps. There you go. The fools. You're mad with power. 
He's not gonna get into it. No, he can't flank. Oh, I like how the, the rocket launcher is kind of hovering on her back. All right. This gives a perfect opportunity for our valiant uh, Divar, who decided to bravely step up and take the front front lines here, to throw a grenade and, and capitalize upon this decision that I made, which removes his cover. And we didn't actually kill him, which is a good thing once again, because now we got 85% chance to hit. Alpha Tig, you got this, man. Good boy. All right, and we're gonna now get ready for an another hit of some sort as they aggressively come down. Ah, oh, there was the meld. Rip the meld. All right, what do we see here? Okay, they're over there somewhere. Quiet. Did you hear something? I think they're quite aware of what I'm doing here, but we'll give it another turn. Otherwise, I'm going to start moving people up. Alright, let's see what we see. Oh, well, Sniper can still get a shot. Oh, it's a flank shot of all things. 95, come on, man. Backwards baseball cap, you got this. There you go. We backwards baseball cap the fuck out of that guy. Alright, and now we just move back. <laughs> x -Cob. I take risks that we don't have to. Shh, you hear that? All right, now let's try the same thing. Poke her head out. Uh, unfortunately, kind of just went over down there. Headed there now. Nope, don't say anything. Head back. Oh, let's just steady our aim for a turn, maybe. Maybe I'll move ahead another rookie. I, I really like that full cover he has, though. All right, so he's over there. He might actually be in that same position now. You never know. God damn it. Just send her on the, that guy. Apparently there's a, also, I should mention, there's some sort of functionality for uh, speeding up the game. So this is, this is 1.5 speed. Aye, aye. Oh yeah, look at that. This is awesome. Maybe I should play with it like this. Let's, let's see how the game is played like this. This is something that they added just recently to the Long War game, so. What was that sound? You know, if, if you're, if you're, if you're kind of sick of seeing it, I don't know, you know, actually, I'm going to let you guys tell me, do you guys want to see the game in like super fast mode or uh, uh, should I, uh, like do you like seeing it sped up? Alright, we're going to actually move this guy down here, it's a sprint, but we'll out. maybe get the sniper to see him. Alright. It's so much faster here. I'm going to just let you have a sample of it. <laughs> That's what that Chuck does. Alright. I don't think it saves it, but, uh, I mean, it's something we could do if you just don't like seeing the speed, but I think it's a little bit unnatural, maybe. I don't know. Give me your feedback. I'll turn it off for now, but, uh, if you guys want to see the game sped up, it might result in shorter episodes, then. Because the gameplay will be much faster, and I'm not waiting for people to run around. Or may maybe, maybe actually what I could do. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Maybe while I'm just running around and positioning everyone, I'll just change it according to the situation, you know. Anyways, uh, Spec Railgun got upgraded. Uh, let's see. So we can either get a um, Covering Fire, so he'd become an Overwatch uh, soldier. Uh, rapid Reaction, they get a second reaction shot if Overwatch, uh, the first Overwatch is a hit. Or we can get Heat Warheads. This just makes the rockets do a hell of a lot more damage. He's mainly there for the rockets, so... Let's get another Rocketeer. Alpha Tig will be a Rocketeer. The mic will be, I guess, another Medic. Um, and we have our snipe, sniper upgrade. Uh, it's a choice between Lone Wolf, Gunslinger. So Gunslinger now gives plus one damage. It used to be plus two, but it, the main thing is it removes the long range penalty when shooting beyond 14 meters. Um, I usually give the, actually this person has an SMG uh, secondary, if you haven't noticed. Um, I didn't really show, show that to you, I think, at the beginning. So for me, I don't really care about Gunslinger because the only time that my sniper is not using a sniper is when they're uh, they're when they're being attacked, basically, because they're always so far away from the action. Uh, so Gunslinger to me doesn't really make sense. Um, low profile, they're not they shouldn't really be shot, getting shot at if there's squad sight. Like they never get shot up. If you've noticed that. Um, but there's plus ten aim and critical chance if not within five seven tiles of an allied unit. My sniper was always alone, so that's the one that we're gonna pick. And we have uh, DVR as either an assault or. Um, an infantry, and we're gonna make him an assault. And uh, that was Operation Defiant Sword for you. 
remember, we will be watching. So with that, we are going to go here and we're going to make a fission generator. Because uh, we need uh, fission. But this will basically yield us uh, the power we need to dig down and then head towards that steam vent. And in the meantime, we'll do some other things while we're uh, handling that. Our ship is going to come out real soon. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. I should mention, you really should never play this mod because you're gonna become an addict like me. Like, there's a reason why I'm doing like two episodes of this a day. I fucking love this game and this mod. Uh, Australia decided to be a bunch of wankers and withdrew from the council. That's okay. Our plan is to invade North America uh, when I get the tech for that. Uh, but we don't need that right now. Oh, 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 and what do we have here? The chef! Trust me, these things are expendable and come in handy. They are very nice. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Just in time. And we have our first, uh, we have a target extraction mission, which targets, uh, reports indicate U UN official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in Canada. Canada again. So if this official is killed or abducted by aliens, it would, uh, uh, whatever, effectiveness. We need to es escort him. Excellent. But we will do that next we time. Look forward to seeing your progress. It looks like it's in Toronto, of all places. Wow. Wow. Well, we're still a couple days out from all that, so... Uh, with that being said, uh, we're done for today, so remember, we will be watching.